What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today for you, I'm bringing you what's inside of my beach bag. Now, this is not my beach bag for when I bring all of my monsters because that beach bag is gigantic and it's like the Mary Poppins bag that never ends. So that is not this bag. This bag is for me by myself because I'm going on a trip alone with my husband. Ooh, ooh. I'm so excited because I made this trip happen, you guys. He was like, no, 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 and like, I gotta do this for work and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, no, we're going, we need to go on a trip by ourselves. I'm really interested in doing a video about like the mental preparation that it takes before you leave your kids behind. So let me know if you guys are into that sort of video. I know it's a like unique topic, but I love that kind of stuff. I would love to inspire, motivate, all that good stuff. So if that's something you're looking for, definitely let me know in the comments below. So if you're into this sort of video and you wanna see everything that I have in this type of bag, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you're notified every time I post a video. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization, and travel videos here on my channel. And I would just love to have you guys. I always, always, always list everything down below. I mean, I list everything until I can't list no more, okay? So I have my website, my Amazon influencer link where you'll see all of my favorites. So everything will be there for you guys. And if you ever have questions or anything, just ask away, I'm here for you. Also in the comments, I would like you to answer the question of the day. What type of bag do you bring to the beach and what is your one favorite item minus sunscreen? Cause girl, we all have to have sunscreen. So just minus sunscreen, but what is your favorite item? So if you guys wanna see everything that I bring with me in my bag for the beach, then just keep watching. One thing I wanted to say about my beach bag was it may not seem like I have a lot of stuff in here because I also have my purse. My purse, you guys know, I always keep everything on me. So if it seems like I'm missing hair ties, Tylenol, all my other stuff, I still bring that, but it's in my purse. And I'm gonna be doing an updated what's in my purse coming up very soon. I can't tell you guys which video it's gonna be because I have a bunch of videos planned, but that will be coming soon. So you'll be able to see all of that stuff. This is just the stuff for the beach, but I always have like, I'll have my excursion bag if I'm going on an excursion and I'll be bringing my beach bag if I'm doing both or if I'm just going to the beach and I need my like crossbody purse because you know that has my other necessities. This is just stuff that I'm bringing to the beach. So all those other things will be in another bag that I'll be bringing with me. First of all, I wanna show you this adorable beach bag. It's so cute. It even comes with this little fluffy thing. I don't know if I fluffed it up enough, but it comes with this on here. So it's so cute. It feels like it would match any bathing suit. Absolutely love it. It's pretty good quality. It's from Amazon. 25 bucks. I feel like I've seen them for like $50. So this is like a really, really good price. $40, $50, something like that. So we're going to get into it. Now, the first thing on top is a towel. This is a towel I've showed last year, I think. One of my very first videos. Oh my gosh, yeah. I've been doing it for like eight months now, which is kind of crazy. So I love this towel for a cruise. I love it because I just feel like you lay it out and it's just like, look, this is my chair. Do not touch it. <laughs> This is my zone, so I'm into this. I have like pink towels and stuff that I bring with me too. I know I bring excessive stuff because I like taking Instagram pictures and stuff. So I bring that type of thing, but this is the one that really just makes me happy. So love this towel and it's really good quality. It's not like, you know, you have those really scratchy ones. It's not scratchy, it's a good one. So I hate when I do this to you guys, but this bag is from Pottery Barn Teen, I'm pretty sure. And I just thought it was super adorable. It's older, I think like a year or two ago I bought this, but I love the way it looks because I was like, oh, I could take pictures with it. It's super cute. So I'll try to find something comparable. But what I like is I can stack everything inside of here vertically. I'll give you guys an aerial shot of what this looks like. So see how everything is just standing up straight and it's just sitting on top of here so I can see everything. It's kind of like all my videos. I like to be able to see things like a file folder type of system, same type of deal so I can just grab things and have everything accessible because I feel like if you don't see it, you can't use it because if it's just out of sight, it's out of mind. Well, I'm not trying to rhyme like that, I promise. It's just coming out, it's just flowing. <laughs> So it's just here now so I can see everything. But sometimes when it's in other bags or if it's not in something like this inside of another bag, it's all over the place. So this is definitely a system that I would highly suggest. Now we're gonna get into here. Now this is like the bulk of like the stuff, the sauce. 
because you have to lather yourself in sauces throughout the day, right? So various sauces. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this baby powder. Now there's nothing special about this baby powder, honestly. It's just organic. I was using it on my baby's butt, but I'm just showing you just having a baby powder really helps get the sand off. I know this is like a Pinterest trick most people know about, but if you don't, sand and wet sand stick to you like nobody's business so baby powder will be your best friend it gets it off so easy and i wouldn't suggest using this one because that would be really expensive because it's organic you know so just get the cheap one and it would be really good so always have my baby powder in here next up i'm going on a cruise i will be checking this in but i definitely want to have enough sunscreen i'm bringing the kula spf 50 sport it's 70% certified organic ingredients, organic sun care, sun care, but yeah, SPF 50. This is a good one. So we are bringing this, especially because my husband gets like red and dark, like super fast. So brought that bad boy. <laughs> Next up we have, okay, so I decanted this. I should have shown you guys what the bottle looks like. I'll try to put it right here and show you guys um, what this looks like, but it is SPF something small, like five or something, but it's suntan oil. I can't, I'm, I love me in oil. I know some people are going to be like, Ugh, like why? I just love oils. They just make your body and your skin and your tan just look so good. But I have this too. I have sunscreen. So let me live. <laughs> Anyways, um, love this stuff. It's organic as well. It's made out of a uh, carrot oil or something like that. So I will leave this down below and let you guys know exactly what it is. But it is really good stuff. I've used it before and it works well. So if you're looking for that golden tan, sometimes, you know, you make sacrifices. Next up, I have this one. This is the Sport Juice Beauty. And I like this one for the face. Um, this is SPF 30 Sport. My husband used it. It's a little thicker. You have to definitely rub it in really, really well. It is thick. So keep that in mind. You don't look like a freak because I put this on my kids before and I was like, whoa, gotta rub that in a little bit better, but it works really, really good. So next up, a unique item to bring to the beach is toilet seat covers. Now I've been to some beaches that are super beautiful, but you walk into the bathroom and it's disgusting. So yes, you can squat, you can hover, but if you just did leg day or you know what I'm saying, you just... I don't know what happened, but sometimes it's going to be hard to hover. Whatever the case may be, you can bring these and then you can, you know, kind of wipe it off a little bit and set one of these down and just hope for the best. That's all you can do. But I love having these on me, especially for traveling. These are a lifesaver. So I will list these for sure. All right. Another thing. I have another cute little pink. I think it's a bunny fan that I really loved. I'll list that one down below too, but I got another one because I like this one. It's like bigger and it seems like more powerful it's got different settings on it yes right gives you that that wind you're looking for for your pictures no i would never do that but it feels good it's so cute i love this thing anyways it has one of those little chargers so there's no batteries needed and the last thing inside this bag is aloe vera now when you're on a cruise ship they don't really have a lot of this stuff so i'm bringing like the whole bottle i'm gonna probably gonna store it in the fridge and maybe get a smaller one for in here because it was a little bit heavy um but this is i'm pretty sure certified organic aloe vera 99.75 percent seaweed extract natural thickener citric acid this has got some amazing ingredients and it has really good reviews on amazon so Definitely bringing this, need need to have this on hand um, when I'm at the beach. Okay, next up are a couple of my favorite items. So we have beach clips, I mean towel clips for the chair. Dang, these are strong, like whoa. Ooh, you could get a workout, a hand workout with this. The, your towel's not going anywhere. You are safe with these, but like how cute are these? Love these. I was about to make some type of bird noise, but I'm like, I don't know what this would make but super cute obsessed love it last thing you guys need to bring is water for sure hands down always 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 bring water but this is not water and I'm not here to tell you I'm not your mama I'm not gonna tell you drink your water I would tell you that though <laughs> because I'm your friend right I would tell my friend girl you need to drink some water but this this is something better <gasps> what 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 oh there's a wrapper in here random so what 
You guys, this is a secret compartment. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Are you loving it? Cash, coins, keys, whatever you want to hide. You can leave this in your room, your hotel room, whatever, and hide it somewhere in your bag or whatever, and nobody will ever know that it has your valuables in it. So um, I also got my husband a shaving cream, one that actually has a real shaving cream. And it's a real brand too, so it's not like one of those fake looking ones. So these are great to have when you go to the beach or go to places and you need to leave for a second or whatever. They have, I think they have sunscreen ones and all of that, but I'll link some fun ones down below because this is such a good thing to have. Two last things I wanted to show you guys was these makeup removers. I don't always keep makeup removers in my purse, so I definitely am putting them into my beach bag. And then I just like having lip stuff in my purse, but I always have multiple of these everywhere just in case because I do not want my lips to get dry when I'm in the sun. So definitely have these two items in there. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my beach bag video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for, girl? Subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss out on anything. Like I said, I always list everything down below for you guys because I have your back. And if you've watched this video all the way through, leave me a beach ball emoji and let me know that you did. When you guys watch my video all the way through, it just means so much to me. I so, so appreciate it. Don't forget to answer that question down below in the comments what your favorite bag is to bring and your one favorite item thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time i'm always your girl on a ring Bye.